This is the promotional video for our work titled WeFix, Intelligent Automatic Generation of Express Weights for Efficient Web and to Flicky Tests. My name is Weiko from USC, and this is joint work with New University of Buffalo and UT Dallas. Our work focuses on web and to end tests, which simulates user behaviors to test the web application. As the complexity of web application grows, it is becoming increasingly important in web development. However, web end-to-end -end tests are known to be flaky, meaning that it can produce inconsistent results, passing or failing unpredictably, despite no changes made to the code. The most common type of such flakiness is what we call concurrency flakiness, where a command attempts to interact with elements that have not been loaded completely. To fix such flakiness, the simplest method is adding implicit weights, where a fixed timeout is inserted after each command to ensure all of these mutations on UI elements complete before the subsequent commands. However, our experiments show that it can introduce up to 36 times runtime overhead. An alternative and more preferred approach in the community is explicit weights which means waiting for some expected conditions to, to be met. For example, checking for the presence of an element before the command that attempts to access the element. It is found to have a low overhead, but the manual selections of the expected conditions are challenging and error prone. Our work proposes a method that automatically inserts explicit weights, achieving a high fix rate and lower overhead. Here's a summary of our tool called WeFix. On the left is the mutation recorder, which records the runtime mutation events to UI elements and identify flaky prone commits. On the right is the oracle generator, which generates a proper weight oracle or expected condition for each command based on its mutation profile captured by the mutation recorder. For evaluation, we fix successfully fixes 98.4% of the UI-based flaky tests in our test dataset. Moreover, compared with the implicit weight approaches, we fix significantly reduces the runtime overhead from 3.7 times to 1.25 times. We hope that I can catch our full talk at the web conference this year. See you there.